you, Professor Snower, for being here, for joining our Digitizing Europe Summit today, and also for taking a little bit of time to answer a few questions. You mentioned um, social market economies, and uh, these are at the core characteristics of the European Union and also one of the, the core advantages, I would say, in comparison to China and the US, for example. Do you think this is this concept of, of the future? Do you think that we can uphold social market economies, um, looking at financing, taxation problems, but also uh, human, human, human robot interaction? Um, do you think that concept will survive? I think it's a really good question um, whether the social market economy will survive. And I don't know the answer to that. But I do know one thing that is relevant to this question, which is the world has become integrated economically. But we remain fragmented politically and socially. And this cannot go well unless the integration of the global economy is matched by an integration of global society and global polity to enable us to deal with big global problems like climate change, financial crises, and so on. We will get into bigger and bigger problems, and the populisms, nationalisms, ethnic struggles that, uh, that we see nowadays are simply symptoms of this underlying cause. So possibly the social market economy, which basically means an economy that serves society, may not survive. But I, if it doesn't, we're in big trouble. And therefore, we have a big responsibility to keep this concept alive and employ it in different ways depending on the cultures that are relevant. Serving society in China is something very different from serving society in Europe. So there's a diversity of approaches that is allowed, but in all cases, it's human beings that need to be served. My last question is, um, if you have one wish, um, one wish for the future of Europe, what would it be? That is a very tough, tough question. One wish for the future of Europe. I would wish, in terms of something concrete that Europe can achieve, that Europe becomes the leader of the new digital revolution by enabling users to become owners of the data that they generate. That would create a revolution in how we structure our digital interactions. It would help preserve democracies. It would help contain big digital monopolies. It would provide the basis for a more prosperous and peaceful world. Perfect. Thank you so much. I will end this interview with these very optimistic and positive words. And I hope that you have um, a very nice conference today. Thank, Thank you. you.